The Kettleers may have a much needed off day today, but for those with big league aspirations, the grind truly never stops. The Ket shipped on up to Boston today for a showcase in front of some high profile MLB scouts, and such a showcase requires only the best of venues. You'd be hard pressed to find a better one than the historic home of the Boston Red Sox here at Fenway Park. Fenway Park has played host to some of the biggest names in baseball throughout its 106 year history. From the splendid splinter Ted Williams all the way to big poppy David Ortiz, Fenway has seen its fair share of legends come through its hallowed halls. So needless to say, when some of the Kettleers first stepped foot on the grass, they felt the prestige that only this park can produce. I spoke with some of the Kets about what it meant to them to be center stage on America's most beloved ballpark this afternoon. You know, it means, it means so much to actually be here. Uh, last year when I played in the Cape, it was my first time to ever come and see this field. So uh, to come look at the field and watch a game from here, uh, it's just amazing. You know, all the history that's here. Uh, but last year when we came here, it got rained out, uh, so we had to hit in the cage. So this year we actually get to get on it on a beautiful day. Like Ted Williams, uh, you know, all the Red Sox and the Yankees grades that always have the the huge rivalry games here, like everything that you can think of has gone on in this field. And you know, it's uh, it's just a really stoic place. And uh, you know, the history is just, you can't really stop talking about it. I mean, everybody that's ever played baseball uh, since the 1900s, you know, it, is played at this place. So, uh, you know, it's just, a, it's a great day to be here. Oh, this is a dream come true. You know, not many chances you get to play at Fenway Park. And it's a lot of fun out here, you know, teammates from all, from back home at UCLA and people that I know all across the country, everybody's here. And so it's a ton of fun to be out here. You feel awestruck when you first walk in because, you know, like I said before, it's not you don't have too many opportunities to be in a big league ballpark. So that's the, that's the initial thought. But once you get going, once you start throwing, it's just baseball and so everything feels normal. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, this is my first time ever on a major league stadium taking BP doing baseball activities. So it's, it's been a dream come true and it's, it's so it's everything you expect and a little bit more than that. Before we ran the 60, and I was just like looking around, I'm like, holy crap, Jackie Bradley Jr. is out here, Joe DiMaggio's played here, Babe Ruth's been in that batter's box, Pedro Martinez on that mound. It's, it's, it's crazy to think about all the history that's here, and it makes you appreciate it just that much more. So, The Kettleers get a quick snap back into reality tomorrow at Lowell Park as they get ready to face the Harwich Mariners at 5 o'clock. But for the time being, it's hard not to take a step back and just take all of it in. Signing off from on top of the Green Monster in Fenway Park and for the Katua Kettleers, I'm Mason Horodiski.